49 with CJ right now. We're headed out and we're gonna go catch some sardines, but you already know what we're doing today. We're bottom fishing. No matter what we do, it's on Jay's boat, we're catching muttons. He's just a mutton man. We're going out of Jupiter Inlet, like we always do, and we're gonna take you guys along with us. Hopefully we catch them up. So if you guys do not know and are not familiar with the channel, the first thing we do when we come out here is catch live bait. No matter what, that's what we're doing every single time. Now, Jay is dealing with it. I'm gonna do a little bit of filming to show you guys. Uh-huh. That's the Jay I know. I didn't know you did. So we're catching two baits. This is called a live sardine. Obviously it's alive, but it's called sardine. And then, you got a stogie anywhere? This is a cigar minnow. We're catching these bigger, here's a little one. Looks like that's a cigar. That's a sardine. Oops. That's a sardine. They're both great baits, but you guys do know we love our sardines, Heather. Sorry. You guys do know we love our sardines better. Look, look at the hat. Moving bait, okay, with the sabiki on it and a sardine. It's out, what's literally what we're doing right now. Come out here, Jay will catch, you know, 16, 17 pound mutton. Not a peep. We catch a 20 pounder today, boys. And girls. Oh, little baits. So, shaking them off. So you guys see the, the sardines that he was catching earlier are big ones, probably like four or five inch baits. These are small, two, three inch baits. When these small baits push in in September and October, I don't wanna say it out loud because Jay might get a little teary up. He might, might start crying. These sardines leave. Look at them behind us on top. Oh my gosh. Look at them flicking on the surface. And also you guys are always like, where do you catch your bait? Look. I can't give I can't give away all the secrets. You guys got to figure some stuff out. I'm gonna show you like us catching bait and us catching fish, but I can't tell you everything. You do know that bait, just like any other fish in the world, likes structure. So just find structure, and then drop a sabiki. That's all I can tell you. saw that footage of JD and bait. I had to get in the action. It's been a long time since I caught in a sardine. Been in the catching Tinker Max. Can't believe I was that close to Nantucket, Jay. Very typical first drop from the other one here. Talk about slack. Talk about I have one team. Yeah. Pretty much the story of my life. Jay catches 20 baits, I catch one. I'm tangled. Alright, I am dropping my sardine down because I just got eight off. See what happens? That's him. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely over. So snuffle Got him on, boys. Oh, look at the snuff slot, 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 right behind it. Right behind it. Look at, look at the slot right behind it. I see it. My fish is way over. There's a slot literally right behind it. Came up like a fish. Is he actually over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still behind it? 
Nice snug pool right here. He's over. Is he? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just can't call it anymore. Yeah, it's like 34. That other one next to him is so small. It's the slottest fish of my lifetime and the one next to him. Dropping a bait back down. But you lost your bait. Moving weight! You're a superstar, man! Don't let him beat you! CJ's a superstar! <laughs> Jesus! Get the grouper off the bottle! He came back for the scraps, dude. Tell me you slot. Let's see it. Let's see it. So uh-huh. 30 inch or baby. Beauty. Catch me another you know. Quick. We got some subs behind us watching me. That thing thumped it. I missed him. And then he thumped, came back for the freaking scraps, dude. Little, little throat poppage here. That was the exact one that followed up that fish. I'm gonna bleed him and then we're gonna throw him on ice. All right, I've been letting this snook sit on the deck for a bit. Gotta bleed him out. I'm gonna wash him off. Beautiful slot snuff. It's going on ice. And we are going to mutton fish. Just made it to the first spot of the day. And when we mutton fish, we mutton fish on anchor. And CJ has a trolling motor. If you guys watch the channel, you're familiar with that. And it's on spot lock. So it's holding us outside from the rock and Jay's getting a flat line out right now. Nose hook sardine. Setting it back there. Because when we're on the anchor, that, that bait's just gonna sit there right in the current and just breathe. Tell a dolphin or a cobia or something worth putting in the box swims up and lays up on it. But right now, we're are you fishing on this side? No, never do. CJ's freaking really switching it up here. But I'm gonna rig up my mutton rod and then show you what i'm using you guys already know you already know but i'll show you if you don't live bait hooking him in the butt slinging him out there in the tide he's going to swim away from the boat with the tide and i got 50 pound leader probably about 35 40 feet of it and then i'll go out And then my three-way swivel right here. I got my main line going to the three-way swivel, then the 50-pound leader with my sardine, and then a little dropper loop, six-ounce flash. All that. That's all it is. And I'm letting it just soak organically on the bottom. I'm on two. Oh, I think you were on me. Is that a mutton? Yes. <laughs> that wasn't a mutton, was it? Oh, you're right. You are. Oh, 
grofter. Little mangrove snapper. He'll eat snacks. What do you got? And Jay's got a Tom Jackery. No bueno. They're mangroves, dude. Oh, look, sail right here. Pitch your, pitch your bait to it. Your bait. Yeah, do it. He's right there, dude. Oh, yeah. I'll fight him. I really want to catch him. Just no, get him to the boat. I want to see him eat next to the boat. He's sick. There you go. I'll find it. I think I got a mutton on here. I don't know. Right? <laughs> I'd say, no, it's not a mutton. I would also say, no, that's not a mutton. Okay. Mine looks like a mutton, dude. I'm literally not kidding. I got a nice mutton on. Okay, I think I have a mutton, dude. Thank you, Kevin. Oh! That, no way that fish fought that hard, dude! Is it? Yeah! I couldn't even, I literally couldn't lift him. I felt like a jack. Uh-huh. You got one too? I thought this was a jack. I think Jay's got one too. Did you see me just, oh, what do you got down there? It looks kind of blue. It's a mutton, it's a mutton, it's a mutton. Dude, did you see me just like messing around mine, not even pulling it, cause it felt so jackass? Oh. Are you, you have the jack, I thought. <laughs> I thought mine was a jack, he thought his was a mutton. Mine was a mutton, his was a jack. That's a nice one. It's the one we're after, 10 pounder. Actually we're after a 20 pounder, so. He's the double in size. Exactly like Mine fought exactly not like a mutton. Dude, he didn't fight until I until I leadered him. I know, and I saw like whole they're, they're eating lines. and swimming way up. They are. I, th I bet you were hooking them or having them eat. We're just messing around. All right. So so far for the dinner table, we got a slot snug, two little mangroves, and this nice mutton. Probably just at ten pounds. Beautiful. Let's catch another one. All we caught from this spot, so this isn't even the first spot, the second spot, was those two little mangroves and then that nice mutton snapper. But that's it, had a couple of nice bites, but missed them. And we're gonna go hop on another rock. So what do you gotta do? You gotta keep moving. I told you this baby would get eight. It's a five, six pounder, I don't want them. To be quite frank with you guys, some people might say, Who's, who's Frank? You know, my cousin. So I get up to talking trash right here. And Zerst Jack. All right, my GoPro just froze. I'm very sorry about that. I think Jay's got a big mutton on. Like, talking like big, big. Talking like real big here. Jay, come on, buddy. No? no? You're shiny. Is it AJ? Are we done? Yeah. Just a big, big AJ. Have that one keeper mutton that's it that one 10 pounder that's it i think we're gonna run back in inside the inlet and anchor up and do some snook fishing um catch another slot and then we'll go home but anyways still a cool day you know still cut that slot snook still caught a big mutton and we're gonna be offering charters pretty soon cj and i you guys see literally all the fish we catch out here okay you guys been asking for a while if we do charters. I'm working on getting my captain's license right now and buying a bigger boat. And once we get that, we'll be ready to go. So stay tuned for that. Just came in here on the beach and Jay sent out the sardine instantly got thumped by a snook. He's gotta be over. 
Nice slot. Is he? He's not fighting. Oh. oh he's over. Ah, I don't know, buddy. Oh, yeah, he is. You just spit up your Dean. Bring him right here. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, he's long, but. Ow, oh, your leg just hit me in the face. Ugh, he's over. Oh, hold on, buddy. Has to be over, right? He's just got such a big tail, too. Yeah, he's so over. Fuck's out of the year. Is right there, he's just over. Shit, about an inch over. If you guys didn't know, snook have to be within a slot range. Oh, he darted off, which is 28 to 32 inches, and season just opened up on September 1st. And usually it's like, I don't know, pretty much every September 1st, I always kill a slot. CJ always kills a slot. We're always catching stuff, but I was gone. I was in New Hampshire catching a lot of different stuff squid bluefin tuna i'll have a bluefin tuna video popping up right here from new hampshire if you guys would like to go check that out it's it's ridiculous go check it out but jay's pitching back another dean let him do his thing and i'm just gonna film him also real quick sunglasses i wear these are ocean eyes polarized sunglasses if you guys would like to purchase a pair you can save 10 percent off i will have a link down below by oceaneyes.com using code adam 10 at checkout and they're not expensive glasses at all i've worn them all just just go try them out if you don't like them then you don't have to wear them but I, i'm telling you for me i wouldn't lie to you guys i love them and i wear them every single day and they're half the price of you know costas and all those other all those other big brand names and this is a local company too they live i mean the guys here live in jupiter the, uh, Karen and Skip who started Ocean Eyes and they're awesome people so just go check them out like support local businesses it's just how it is if you're from Jupiter if you're not support them like you support me because it helps us it really does all right boys and girls we just got back to the flay table we could not catch another slot snuck but we do have one beautiful one and then that nice mountain in the cooler and Jay's gonna hold the GoPro real quick and I'm gonna clean this fish up and then we're gonna go back to the house and cook it up for dinner. Snook are probably one one of my favorite fish to eat. Not the favorite, but one of my one of my favorites. Just just throwing it out there. Here's the thing with filleting. Like I've said, I've said it before. I can sit here and show you how to fillet. I mean, I'm gonna show you how to fillet, but I can talk about it. I can't. You can't learn over YouTube. You gotta go. You gotta go out yourself and do it. You gotta catch fish and fillet. That's, that's the only way to learn is by doing it and getting better at it. Just like anything in life. Right, Jay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now Jay, Jay can't fillet, so I usually, usually have to fillet his fish for him because he, he he is a struggler. And you know what? I love everybody in this world, so nothing against you, Jay. You know me. Nice ass snapper. Come right up here. Boom, just like that. That's a beautiful snook fillet. The meat's kind of just like grouper. It's flaky just like that. And now we're gonna skin it. You don't have to go super, super close to their skin because they do have a little bit of a bloodline. It doesn't bother me, but it does bother some people. See how I left just a little bit? And now I'm left with pretty much no bloodline. And then they do have pin bones, just like any other fish. Come in here, cut the pin bones out. Now you are left with a beautiful piece of white meat. And we're gonna cook this up. We might even let Johnson cook this up. I know you guys have been asking about him. I know you guys miss him. And we're gonna keep cleaning. We might catch a snuck here at the dock. Stay with us. All right, definitely not the best day by any means, but we did catch dinner. We ended up, cl I cleaned up that, uh, that, sorry, that mutton, and we're gonna do a mutton versus snook, catch, clean, cook. And you know what? 
Johnson's cooking tonight. I already know he wants to. I know you guys are asking about him. We're gonna put the boat in the trailer and we'll show you, show you what the deal is here. Like I said, it's not as easy with bigger boats, but there's no need to be hogging up the boat ramp 24 seven. I lay right up on the J Meister here, just like so. Beauty sitting pretty here. That's it. I want you guys to go ahead right now and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. Drop a like because CJ's just Jay, just out here, just Tom Jane around. And you know him, putzing around. And subscribe if you're not ready to subscribe because you can't not like these videos, you know what I mean? By the way, can you believe I was just that close to Nantucket? That was unbelievable. It was like all the talking I've done about Nantucket and then I'm pretty much laying up in Nantucket, but we'll see you guys back at the house. All right, it's a couple days after catching that snook and snapper and we are back at the house. We got Kayla, we got Kayla. Matthew, hey. Hey. Johnson, Dolphins. Mama Maloose, and we made some fish tacos. Mama Maloose made some Mama fish tacos. I've been taking a nippy news on fishing on like eight days in a row. I'm starting to feel like a zombie. Taking tomorrow off. So I'm looking forward to oh wait, no, I'm not sleeping in. I mean, He's cleaning the garage. I'm, no, we're going to the gym in the morning, then I'm cleaning the garage. Right. But right, let mom take it away. Okay. Okay, so we have some snapper, snook. This is a snapper right here. This is a snook. All I did was saute it in butter. Um, cooked it in butter, Old Bay seasoning, made some coconut ginger white rice. Johnson, captain, made some Ooh. fresh guac. We have cilantro, cheese, lettuce, some salsa, and we're gonna build a taco. All right. So this is how we build the taco. Build me a taco, baby. You got it. Bandit, you want a taco, baby? Uh, who wants a snow taco? I do. Okay. Ooh, you know it. So here is Ooh, the look snook at how flaky taco. the snook is. Yeah, that's yeah. great. You like that, Kayla? Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of shredded lettuce. A little bit of guac. There's a lot of limes in this guac. Give me more guac. Please. Love you. Coconut ginger rice. Do you like cilantro? Cilantro? Yes. And there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. All right. I'm going to help make some other tacos for everybody else, and then we're going to get plated up, and we'll see you at the dinner table. All right, we're sitting down at the table here. Kayla says that she doesn't want to be recorded eating. Why is that? I don't that, like it. Kayla? Cause this, look at this. Okay. This is going to be messy. Of course it is. But... I guess I can do it for the move and wait. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not just me though. Maybe. Yeah, man, can't so, go and take a bite at one time. Right. Oh, uh, what are you going for first, babe? The snapper, snapper. or the grouper? I'll go snapper too. Ready? One, two, snapper, three. Snapper, I barely know. Man. <laughs> simple, it works. You're not overcomplicating things. Mm. You're not trying to do anything special. It's just a nice fish taco. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Matt's trying to say, but <laughs> pretty much what I'm trying to say is, yeah, it's an easy little fish taco, you know. It's an easy dinner to do for a lot of people, and it doesn't take long at all. You guys know, super simple. All we did is all Mama Malusa was sauteed in the pan, 
and I easily could have done it, but she wanted to cook dinner for the family, and I, I was being a nice guy and, and, and let her do that. So. <laughs> so sweet of me. I'm gonna go ahead and grub on this taco. You guys already know it's good. You can't go wrong with fish tacos. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like on it, and make sure you're also subscribed to the channel if you're not ready. Um, where will I be? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Should be in Puerto Rico, maybe, when you're watching this video. Maybe I'm just leaving for Puerto Rico, but we, got, we are backed up on a bunch of videos. If you guys have not already seen that insane bluefin tuna video, I'll be popping up right here. Go ahead and check that out. Kayla loved that video. I loved it. She loved it. And that's all we got for you. Till next time, moving away to... <laughs>